months. Now, listen, I'm going to give a story. I'm going to give it to you in a one minute conversation. I'm going to hand it over. I'm going to let you meet the man. But obviously, Jake's 28 years old. Okay. He's just like us. He's like all of us out there. He's got a, he's got a four year old. He's got his girl. You know, he's got his why. They say, if you have your why, you need to go find your how. Jake goes and gets in the car business. Guys, I tell you every day, men and women all around the country, the best opportunity you could ever have in your life is going to be in the automotive industry. Now, Jake's been selling for six weeks, okay? Jake gets in the first two weeks, and I'll let him explain it, but he goes through and he realizes that, shoot, man, I may have made the wrong decision getting in this business. Literally for two weeks, runs around, doesn't make any money. And then he says, wait a minute. He decides to start training, gets on the program, dials in, literally makes 20 grand his first month on the training. Guys, how does that happen? Well, number one, it happened two ways. One, Jake wanted to win, and he wasn't scared to raise his hand and jump and dive into the training and elevate his game. Now, I'm going to hand it over to him. Obviously, Jake, I'm glad you're here. Share your story with us. I feel like it's, it's very motivating to me because I say this all the time. Time and experience doesn't equal the top salesman in the store or the most money made. We're proving it all the time that veterans are coming down off their mountain saying, hey, I've been doing it 15 years. They come back to me and they say, Andy, all right, recreate me. Let's go. And we're doing it with them. But I got guys that are starting that are brand new in the business that literally have never sold anything in their life. They've never sold a car. And they're saying, Andy, your training program, you say it's proven. You say that it can create these massive results. But like, will it work for me? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hand it over to you. Walk us through it. Number one, we're glad you're here. Just share your story with us, man. You're amazing. Cool. Yeah. So I started in and I was very, very quickly you realized that being on point is not everything, right? You what did you do? What did you do before you sold cars, real quick? I, I was you. working in yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So I was working in customer service uh, at gyms yeah. and uh I was mm. just working at yeah, it's very similar to Lifetime Fitness. It's just a local company and um I was training employees when they got in, uh really just trying to give them the best customer experience possible. And then one, yeah, and I had zero experience in sales at all. So it was like me trying to sell something did not work at all. Um, so really, whenever it came down to it, I was showing people around the gym rather than like talking about money, prices and that. I would just really just get to know them, build a rapport and build a relationship because uh, whether or not I would see them once a week, once a month, or never again, if it was just the initial them coming into the gym and that was where they were going to start their next journey or chapter. Um, I, I just wanted to be there for them. I wanted to make it comfortable for them because some people come into a gym, right? And it's intimidating for them because they come in 450 pounds. And that even them being there was like a leap of faith. And that's the next step. So I wanted them to be comfortable mm. and to just show them around and be like, hey, this is what make we got. Make feel welcomed. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I tried to be as welcoming as I could and be a friend there for them every time they stepped a foot in to check in at the counter. Um, but really, at one time, my managers came in, my current manager, he came in and he was like, you're, you're pretty positive. Come. We need more people like you. Just come work for us. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, like I'm down. Uh, I kind of built a relationship over the next couple of weeks, months, and then uh, I made the move. But yeah, car so sales you, and so you, uh, so you went to sell cars because the guy that was a manager worked at the gym, or, yeah, exactly. or uh, worked out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so he recruited you out. You got in the car mm -hmm. business. Um, now talk to me. Tell me what happened. Cool. Yeah. So about two weeks into like it, day was, one, you started. Like, how did the yeah. first two weeks go in a one minute conversation? How'd that go? So it was pretty good. I mean, it was is is fine. I liked building the relationships with the people, but it was awkward again selling cars. Um, so I just again, I'd, I'd be more quiet than anything. But once I got opened up, I got confident. Um, I really just kind of focused on what needed to be done. Um, really, just kind of internalized myself, looked into it, and really focused on building the rapport and just helping somebody because I know. Uh, if we relate to people, then they're more inclined to buy. They're more inclined yeah. to, to yeah, people buy, buy from, from people that remind them of their friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's great. So you started two weeks go by, you didn't make any money. Mm -hmm. 
you, 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 you like the environment, you like the car business, yeah. but your thought maybe, you know, because of financial reasons, maybe yeah. I made the wrong choice. Now, most mm. people, when they're not making money and they're demotivated, mm. the, mm. you know, like the, the, the first thing they don't want to do is go spend more money to learn. Right, exactly. But the learning, the learning is where the, the magic happens in mm. this business because mm. we are in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. You're around a lot of salespeople that have been doing it way longer than you now that you see due to the training. You're like, that guy's making mistakes. Mm. And you study them. And as you're doing the training, it makes you actually be aware of what you should and shouldn't do, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And honestly, after two weeks of not doing much, I was like, I have a family at home. I have to feed. Like I, yeah. I can't. I can't just keep this up and let the people wait for them to come to me. I have to go to them, and really, that's all it takes. You don't have to be aggressive. You just reach out to them. You just be a friend and you just reach out to them. And, hey, I'm here for you. Like uh, I'm here for you. That really is what it is, and um, it, it's worked flawlessly. I mean, it, it's a lot easier and a lot less stressful whenever you just go to them and reach out to them, but. How much did you train a day? Oh, and by the way, by the way, let's let's get into two things. Number no, one, how how much did you train a day? Roughly, if somebody was watching, they would say, "How much do I need to train a day? Did you train a half an hour a day, an hour a day? What? How much did you train a day?" No, I still do. I, I I did, and I still train about six to eight hours a day. If I'm if I'm in, if I'm awake, then I'm always trying to grow, learn. I've always been more inclined to learn and grow uh, because I can't sleep at night knowing that I could have done better. So, hey, I so everybody that. listen, what he just said is he said, I train six to eight hours a day. That's going to confuse a lot of people. Okay. But listen, I just had an interview with a guy named Tim Denton. You might've saw it. The interview I did with the guy that just made over 400 grand last year. And anyways, Tim Denton lost everything, lost everything he had. Mm -hmm. And what he does is see these little pods. Okay. He, takes and he puts them in and why he's working through the day if he doesn't have a customer why he's working doing whatever he's listening to training in between and mm -hmm. what it's doing is that it's feeding his mind and literally reprogramming him like mm -hmm. it's reprogramming him to be a sales warrior and guess what the guy busted 400 grand last year mm -hmm. A guy who was dead, broken on nothing. And Tim Denton's going to see this. And when you said you trained six to eight <laughs> hours a day, there's a lot of people right now that are like, dude, six to eight hours. I don't have six to eight yeah. hours. Yeah, you don't have six to hour, eight hours not to get. How much did you make your first month training? 20K. 20K. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, is that the most money you've ever made in your life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 100%, okay. Not even close. Okay. Dude, how does it feel? knowing that you're in an industry that will pay you more money than you ever imagined. And that manager that told you you could make it, guess what? You took it among yourself to go do the training. He didn't tell you to do it. Am I right? Yeah. yeah so he just opened the door for me and said, Hey, like, I think you'd be a good fit. And then I quickly realized that I was in complete control of my own success. Like you truly do. And I, I had my earphone in, whether it's listening, uh, whether it's listening to you or mentors or even like a music for a couple of minutes just to reground myself or, or yeah, keep, using the role play app. Yeah. Keeping you fired up. Yes. Yeah, Dude, that I always say this. Yeah. No, you can have tons of teachers in life. Guys, do here. Okay. I listen to David Goggins a lot mm -hmm. through the day and David Goggins is purely mindset. It's a part of my training ritual that allows me to have mindset. Here's what's crazy. Also, I listen to a lot of the times to myself. Dude, this is crazy. I will play my own training videos to listen to myself because I can tell where I've gotten better and where I need to get better at. And, and you said you would do the role play app, right? So that allows you to like test yourself. Yeah. And Dude, that's, dude, that's everything. It's about leveling up every single day, dude. And I'm going to ask you this, and this is, this is the coolest part of this business. Yeah. You made a lot of money. Yeah. You put a bunch of money in the bank, you know, you pay some stuff off, whatever, because you weren't making that kind of money before at the health club. You know what I mean? Sure. It, it just wasn't doing it. But how, how did your, how did your girl, what did she think, man? I mean, how, what was it like to celebrate just that big win? Yeah, that was a huge sense of relief. Um, it, it really just takes the pressure off of you and you just continue on because you find the recipe and what works and you just keep doing it. But that, that was huge because we just ended up being happier. 
Like we, we, we yeah. go home and we go home together or we'll work out together and we're just happier. Like it's just a more fulfilling life. Yeah. And she, and, and by the way, she sees how happy you are. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. But I, I'm going to say something to everybody listening. You had to pay the price in advance. Would you agree? When you yeah, started understand. training, when you started training, like the money doesn't just come when you start, you have to put the work in mm. up front and start reprogramming mm. yourself. You went into a different industry, one mm. where now when you go out, like you've got to learn how to handle these type of situations. You've got to learn with this type of business. Cause look, mm. really two things that I always say, one, you got to study people. Okay. So mm. you study my, like me, when I train, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, my hands, my eyes, mm. my words, but also you have to study this business. And if anybody will just study this business, how many people around you right now are really training hard? None. Mm. No, and I quickly realized that, right? You, you notice that people come to like socialize or to hang out and you very, very quick a lot, quickly realize that when you go in to show up and just to work, you're like, it's easily number one. There's a lot, a lot of money here. And that's not what it's about. I just, no. genu yeah, I genuinely just realized that I believe whether I'm right or not, but I believe my greatest is the greatest. And That's I it. just hold myself to that. That's it. Okay. I, Did you hear, I want to tell everybody what he just said so you can understand this. When he says my greatest is the greatest. Okay. So I've never seen a closer. We, we call ourselves closers, right? Who can go close any deal, right? I've never seen a closer who didn't believe he was the best closer. Right? Yeah. I don't care what level of closer you're on. Listen, not arrogance or cockiness, but confidence. Mm. Being a great salespeople, you have to carry a sense of confidence with you. Mm. You have to. It's so mm. important. And what you just said is that every day you come in, you believe that your greatest is the greatest. And that mm. right there, that's a special energy that, it, that runs mm. through the store. And honestly, it steals a lot of other people's energy because they don't feel that way. And that gives you more energy. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. And it's, it, again, it goes back to the, this is just business. Like in order to get something back, you have to invest. You have to, you have to invest the time. You have to invest the effort and the money. Like you don't have a choice. You can come in and if you want a standpoint, cool. That's just not me. Like you can do that and succeed here depending on what you want. But I just, that's not my definition. There's a better of succeeding. way. Yeah. There's a better way. Yeah. There's a better way. Yeah. It's like, dude. You know, if you can dig, I go outside right now and you can give me a shovel, I could dig a hole. But <laughs> if I want to dig an eight foot hole, I'm just going to say this, like it, it may take me all day. Yeah. Hell, I can't get a tractor and do it for a half hour. Yeah. Let me call the tractor guy. That's like training. You worked in a gym. If mm -hmm. a person comes in and they want great results, will they get better, faster, more results with the trainer who will mm -hmm. push them to go harder? encourage them while they're going mm -hmm. and tell them the mistakes that most people make that they don't have to make mm -hmm. and keep them and keep them in on track or going in on their own and just spending an hour a day inside of the facility of the gym, mm -hmm. not getting any results mm -hmm. and then wondering why the gym isn't for them. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the trainer. The training is what changes everything in every industry. Everybody watches this NBA, football, any sports out there, tennis, soccer, anything. They watch the game and they're like, oh, that, that's my boy. He's so good. You don't even know the blood, sweat, and tears in the hours that that man put on the field when you weren't mm -hmm. watching him. And he's, he's done it so many times and he's dialed it almost to a science, right? That like, when he goes in, like he's taken that shot 20,000 times when nobody was looking. And now when he takes that shot, when everybody's watching, they think he's great. And he was training, but someone was teaching him the whole time how to level up every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to tell you, man, the fact that you realize this on your own, this is why I said, obviously, we're going to see you at the Master Closer Seminar in March, and you're going to be live with me, and we're going to be training. Look, you did all your, your online training, like, without being here in person with me, mm -hmm. but that is what allowed you to make money to, number one, take care of your family, but then to spend more money to come here and train live in person with me. Mm -hmm. And the man that we're creating right now with you, dude, that guy who we're going to see two months from now by the summer, oh, my goodness. I mean, 
That's going to be yeah, insane. Not, and the guy yeah. two years from now, yeah. imagine, you're only 28 years old. Yeah. You know, you're going to make, you're going to make a quarter of a million dollars a year, your first year in the car business. And guess what? Year two, you can make a half a million. The biggest secret is number one, if you guys didn't catch this, he said, I trained hard and I still continue to train, which means you go to sleep on a win, you'll wake up with a loss. Mm -hmm. We can never be a one-timer. You've got guys around your dealership right now. They're dying for you to stop doing what you're doing. They don't know how you did it. They think it was luck and they're calling it uh, luck. They're saying he got lucky. He got lucky. Mm -hmm. Luck had nothing to do with it. They're doing anything they can do to not own what they're getting, which is they're mm -hmm. not training. They're not getting better. Therefore, it's getting the same result, which mm -hmm. is the same results that you got the first two weeks which is running around, not knowing how to close this deal, how to get more customers. And just the fact that we've been training for a little bit, you said something that was very powerful. You said, if you want to stand on the lot all day, every day and wait for the next step, that's fine. In all of our training programs, we talk about 2021 is about speed. You know, 2022, really from this point forward for the rest of our life, the internet age is about speed. And so you don't have to stand outside on the lot to create revenue. Now, do you want to take as many lot ups as you can? Sure. As many phone ups as you can? Sure. But there's better ways, right? <laughs> no way. No. No. I mean, the fresh ups are pretty exhausting, honestly. Uh, well, there's better ways. Yeah, That's there's better it. ways. Yeah. yeah. Some of them, I do love helping them. I do. I do love people coming up to me and asking for help. But there are definitely ones that it's like, there is nothing better than helping like my family or friends. Uh, sure. Because I know I know their story very very well, and I'm very emotionally yeah. attached to it. But yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. I agree. And, and hey, one of the things that's really cool, <laughs> I want everybody to pay attention to this with him. There's a difference between caring and truly caring. Mm. Okay, this mm. guy gives a shit. Okay, mm. and that's awesome, dude. I just want to tell you, number one, I wanted to have this quick little interview, obviously, mm. so everybody could realize that if they're out there right now, Jake, Jake, if they're out there and they're saying, man. You know, like, why am I not having this kind of success? Like, mm -hmm. I would, dude, Jake, if I could just hit a 20 grand month, I would, I would do the same thing you did. Jake mm -hmm. didn't get the 20 grand month until he dove in on training, went all in, paid the price in advance, and then got the reward. Mm -hmm. Look, Jake understood this. Jake promised his girl that he was going to take care of her. He promised her that he was going to provide for her oh, yeah. financially, right? And he, he's the man. Sure. Uh, He's the man. And you weren't going to go home and tell her you made a mistake because no. a lot of people would go home and say, I don't know if this is going to work. Jake never said that. Jake isn't a guy who retreats. He isn't a guy who surrenders. He's a warrior and a fighter. And guess what happens? He's just proved it. And he showed that there's enough evidence and proof that if you haven't been in the business at all, you're just getting in. Or if you've been in for a while and you haven't committed to training, now it's the time. And if you've been doing it for a long time and you're not getting the results that you want or the, the results that people have told you were available and you're just not getting them, stop blaming it on the, 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 the culture you're in, the dealership, your manager. Stop blaming it on uh, COVID. Stop blaming it on everything. And go and work on yourself, Okay. You know, there's a difference between working hard at your job and working hard on yourself. And what you did, Jake, you went to work hard on yourself, which made it easier at your job. And most people would have went the other way, which is, look, I need to work harder at my job. But if they're not working on themselves, they don't get better. And all they do is mm. work more hours and become burned out because they're not getting better. So I just want to say, dude, you rock. We freaking love you. Um, obviously you train with a lot of coaches with me. Who do you train with here with me right now? Obviously I, I, I do all the training. My name's Andy, but who, 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 which one of my coaches are you training with? You're my man. Uh, honestly, I hate to say it. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit of everybody. Um, no, tell them, tell everybody who no, they are. So everybody no, will know. Every, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, my I mean, guy they all Ian. work for the Elliot group. So I love all right, it. All right, so cool, that's cool. What's so yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was my guy, Ian. He's the one who initially reached out to me. We really bonded. Um, he, he just, he, he hit special to me. Um, and then, uh, Ryan, he's been awesome. Adrian, he's been awesome. Sean, Derek, they're, they're all awesome. They're my guys. Hey, 
Isn't that cool, man, that you got a whole team? And yeah, by the way, you're going mean, to meet all of us. Yeah, and I'm stoked. But it, it what really builds that confidence, too, is the brotherhood. And the brotherhood, that goes a long mm-hmm. way. That goes a long totally. way, especially when you see how healthy they are, when you see how happy they are, when you see how successful they are, to have those models of just the brothers around you to like follow, just walk it with them, just walk with them and then you will succeed. Because somebody told me if there are five drug addicts, you're going to be the sixth. If mm. you are with five millionaires, you're going to be the sixth millionaire. That's it. And that's it. That's it. Hey, what, and what did I say to you earlier? I told you my goal with you is what, before we had the meeting, I said, Jake, let me tell you what my goal is with you. I said, I want you to be better than who? <laughs> I said, than me. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I don't know. No, Jake, I'm, hey, guys, hey, listen, hey. <laughs> I told Jake, guys, listen, and for anybody listening to this, you guys are my legacy. Okay. <laughs> I hire the best coaches, the most bad. We got the number one, number two Nissan salesperson in the world that worked for me. We got, you know, word track, Ryan, you got Savage, Paul, Sean Pollard. I mean, we've got this amazing group, by the way, brotherhood and sisterhood, which you'll meet of men and women all around the country that just, you know, don't want to be, somebody said the other day, they're like, "Hey, you guys have a call. I'm like, dude, it's called culture. We have a culture of success and it pisses a lot of people off when you get around a bunch of one percenters and what's a one percenter, mm-hmm. a one percenter is a mindset. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with money. Okay. Sure. You can be dead Ian on broke right now and have zero dollars and be a one percenter. What you have to decide is that you got 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts going through your head a day and you're not going to let any negative toxic shit come into your mind mm-hmm. and you're going to protect it. And you're only going to have great stuff in her mm-hmm. and what comes out your mouth because you protect your mind so strong is only good mm-hmm. stuff. And that's called the one percenter mind, which leads to the one percenter life as being a father, a husband, a businessman, spiritually in the gym, all around, not a one dimensional guy. I, I see one dimensional people that make a lot of money, but they got the worst marriages ever, or they earn a lot of money and then they're out of shape and they hate themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they're like, yeah, oh no. man, I feel disgusted with myself. No. Guys, he said something about working out. Guys, we always say this, a healthy body can support a healthy mind. And guess what? Even if you're 450 pounds and you're watching this, you can take the 1% mindset, own it today. And the person you'll be in a year from now will be a complete different person. And being in a gym, you've seen the transformation like in the body, but you know, people losing 300 pounds or, you know, 150 pounds and just being a whole different, uh, complete human. You know what I'm saying? Um, So our goal is, is that we can talk forever and we'll run a million different ways, but ours, <laughs> yeah. I got AD, I got ADD I'll be talking yeah. about fishing and everything. Yeah. But my goal is, is that this video is to give a mad shout out to Jake and just mm. say, damn good job, Jake. He busted his 20 K his first mm. month's training, only been six weeks in the business, never sold anything. And guess what? Jake identified his why, which is his four-year-old baby girl and his, and, and his girl at home which is his two women. And he said, now I have a why. Now I have to go find my how. He knew the car business was the best opportunity he could ever have. He put it upon himself. He said, no one's going to change my family's life, but me. So I'm taking action. And he reached out and guess what? The rest is history. And if you notice how much he's reached out, he's familiar with all of my coaches, not just me, which Mm -hmm. means in the beginning, when you reached out, it was probably a little weird Cause you're like, man, you know, I'm going to text these Cause I put my cell phone number and everything in every YouTube description. Yeah. I put my cell phone. And if you text me, we'll always reach back out to you. But the first time you reached out, was it a little weird the first time? Yeah, it was a little, but I mean, it, you guys are but, all but then, pretty cool. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah. But it was weird for you because that was different than what you're used to doing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if yeah, anybody's I mean, out it, there and they haven't reached out, like reach out, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look what could happen. I mean, look what will happen, but you got to be committed like Jake. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so number one, Hey, I can't wait to meet you in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're going to kill it, brother. I got something crazy. It's I always say this for people. I plan very crazy, special stuff to take and unlock you to a whole new level, mm-hmm. crush and kill everybody until you get here. So that way uh, you can tell us some war stories. I want some war stories when you get here about how you destroyed it in February. 
obviously he killed it in January. We'll see how you crushed it in February. So any last thing you want to say to anybody listening, Jay? You got to just um, stay true to yourself, keep working hard, um, have fun with it, and uh, really immerse yourself into that lifestyle. That's it. Own it. Whatever you do, do it all the way, baby. Mm-hmm. All right. I appreciate you, Jake. We'll talk to you soon, brother. Okay. Cool. See you soon. All right. See you, brother. Later, guys.